morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I'm here at Trans West in Trailer Sales. So for those of you that aren't familiar with us, we're right off I-25, about 30 minutes north of Denver. We're somewhere in Logan Dealer, so if you're looking for a brand new trailer, those are the two brands that we carry. If you're looking for something used, take anything from little bumper poles to big LQs and on trade. So this is actually a brand new inventory trailer that I have sitting behind me. It's an available two horse bumper pull. It's a Cimarron North Star. And it's really set up to be very functional for a lot of people that are looking for a little run around trailer. If you're just dragging the trailheads, maybe you need a trailer sitting at your barn in case of vet visits because you've got a big LQ you're dragging around. Or if you've got one horse and, and maybe a smaller tow vehicle, this is a really great setup. Cimarron is all aluminum construction. They've got tons of extrusions, extrusions that lock, interlock with each other, so it makes for a really incredibly strong frame. I believe, hands down, they're the strongest aluminum trailer on the market. And then they've got this really cool insulated FiberTech roof, which I'll show you guys in the stall area. And that is one of our biggest benefits on a Cimarron. Uh, it's dent resistant, it has an R3 thermal value, so it's going to stay a lot cooler, and it muffles a lot of the sound that you get as you drive down the road. So let's start up front and we can check this one out. So first things first, we've got a little crank jack here. Now if you don't want a sidewind jack, if you want to be able to press a button, we can easily replace this with an electric jack. We've done quite a few of them through our shop. This hardware swaps out and they wire in a battery for you so you can actually use lights on your trailer when you're not hooked up to a tow vehicle. As far as safety goes, you've got a 2 and 5 16 ball, you've got your safety chains, you've got your breakaway cable, and you've got your locking hitch here. Now Cimarron does a little bit longer tongue than most manufacturers, which really, really makes them pull well, and it gets it a little farther from your tow vehicle so that if you're in tight spots, you're less likely to clean out the back of your truck on your trailer. This diamond plate on the, these inventory ones, we bring it about 18 inches high. We've started on some of our custom trailers bringing this diamond plate a little bit higher and do about every 12 inch increments um, and it's, it's been really well received so I think you're going to see this diamond plate go a little bit higher on trailers moving forward. You have the stainless nose. That's a standard option on these North Star models. If you wanted just the white match nose or color match nose, that's always an option that you can go with as well. The cool thing about a Cimarron is it is a completely custom built trailer. So if you want to make some modifications to really put your name on it and make it your own, the sky is pretty much the limit. As long as the engineers agree with it, then we can build it. We went with white 050 aluminum sheets on this one. If you walk around our lot, you'll notice we've got a lot of charcoal metallics, silver metallics, um, even some blacks. It, just as a matter of what we decided to order, we try and keep a variety of inventory on hand. The white is really popular. It's a little bit cooler, and it seems like a lot of people kind of um, steer towards this in a horse trailer. All right, we've got the hold back on the door there. This is a nice big 42 inch wide, wide door here with a fold down step. Now everything you see on our lot, if it has been ordered by us, we include the fold down step. It just makes it so much easier to get in and out. This running board would run all the way to the front if we didn't have this fold down step. And it's a lot higher and a lot narrower. So having this big surface area that's about halfway from the ground just makes it so easy to get in and out. On the door we have this brush box. You can option it with a brush box or um, a tack door organizer. I've actually had quite a few people recently that have been doing multiple brush boxes. So they want all their easy grab and go storage right here on the door. So we can always add more of those if you're interested. We've got a nice big swing out saddle rack here. Now having this 42 inch wide door allows us to have space to get in and out of the tack room without having to swing this in. It also gives you clearance if you've got big western saddles that might usually get hung up on those doors. It gives them enough room to get in and out without causing any damage. And then all of these are completely movable along the post. So if you need to add additional blanket tiers, you can just bolt them right on. Um, you can slide these up and down. You can change the layout of them. Lots of different options. A lot of people will go in and they'll add additional saddle tiers. It seems like a lot of people, even if they have two horses, 
they're hauling multiple saddles per horse. So it just gives you that flexibility, which is really, really nice. In the tack room itself, got a nice big tack on these Cimarrons. Um, they're quite a bit bigger than a lot of our competitor brands. You can increase the length of the trailers by every three inches. So if you need to make this tag even bigger, something that we've done all the time. We've got 12 bridle hooks here on this partition wall. We carpet behind the bridle hooks as standard on a Cimarron, just because if your bits swing back and forth, they're gonna mark up this nice white aluminum sheets and it's gonna be really loud for your horses. So we always carpet behind the bridle hooks on a Cimarron. And then in this corner here, you've got a nice big corner water tank. It's on a stand. It takes up that space really nicely. That's kind of dead space otherwise. So it's nice to have your own water that you can bring from home as an option. And then something that we upgraded on this one, um, we're not a huge fan of carpet on the floor on trailers. We've kind of gone away from that on almost all of our inventory units. So you're usually gonna see us with the rubber mats, which is just a really small upcharge, or there's a gray rubber tread flooring that you'll see in a lot of our, our higher end, um, more tricked out models that we've got that um, is a completely seamless to the floor. So some different options for your floors there, really cool. Right here you've got your spare tire. This is the same exact spare that you've got running on the ground. It's a Goodyear 15 inch load range E. Now a lot of people on a two horse bumper pole are, or a lot of manufacturers are gonna be just running um, load range D tires, but Cimarron steps up to the, to the 10 plies on theirs. They have aluminum wheels as standard on every single one of their models. Now we went with black spoke here. You can do a silver spoke. If you want to really upgrade tires and wheels, um, we can get into those 17.5s, Continentals, Alcoas, um, SRW wheels, which adds a little bit of cost, obviously, but some people really like, like some, some cool wheels underneath them. Up above here, we've got our clothes rods, so we always need vertical hanging space on these trailers, so it's just really nice to have that as an option. Now some things to note on this side, this trailer is running on two 3,500 pound rubber torsion axles, so plenty of axle underneath this trailer. When you step into a three horse, you're on 5,200 pound axles on a Cimarron, so it's just kind of nice that they, they really take into account the weights to make sure these trailers are properly equipped. We were talking about the tires in there and they actually come with their own warranty. So it's a one year, no questions asked, two years of roadside assistance and five year against any manufacturer defects on the tires and wheels. Um, so it's offered with your factory warranty through Lion's Head, really easy to, to use on those ones. As we work our way up, we've got these, these bolt on fenders here. Now, one of the nice things about a Cimarron is they do what they can to help minimize your cost of ownership. So they wanna build all their parts to last or to be easy to replace. So this is a great example. Where do we see most of the expensive trailers coming from is, is when you blow out um, a tire and it usually takes your fender out with it. If we had a weld on fender, it would be a lot more labor. It would be a lot harder to make it look like it had never happened. So having these bolt on fenders, they can ship these fenders to your repair shop and pretty easily make it look like nothing happened. Now as we work our way up above that, we've got all these side slats. You'll notice you're not gonna see a lot of welds on the outside of a Cimarron. You're not gonna see a lot of metal fasteners. They use a 3M tape and they do all their welding on the inside, so behind the kick mats. Um, so it gives it a really clean, sleek appearance. I mentioned they own a lot of different extrusion, extrusions. So you'll see all these extrusions lock into the running board, which locks into the rear frame. It's everything is like a big puzzle piece. So since Simron can build it, all of these extrusions and piece them together, it eliminates a lot of the places that they need to weld to add strength. So they can eliminate um, possibly having an area where a weld will break. So that makes them incredibly strong. They actually do a triple hollow slat. So there's hollow um, radiuses behind here. Um, which adds a lot of strength to the exterior of your trailer. You'll see on a lot of our living quarters, our eight horse goosenecks, they run that extrusion all the way to the very front. It adds a lot of strength to the sidewalls of those trailers. It's not just to look good. On this particular one, we did drops on the hip. So you've still got those big bus windows that you can slide over if you need to, but especially if you're 
hauling this trailer in Arizona, Texas, Florida, it's gonna give you a lot of airflow, um, which is gonna be really comfortable for those horses as they're driving. We can option these with um, side slats, we can option them with bus windows, but it seems the drops have become really popular in, in previous years. We've got tie rings on either side of the trailer, and then right above that we've got our 16 inch awning light. We've got awning all around this, or we've got light all around this trailer so that you can easily see what you're doing at night. As we work our way around here, we've got a 60-40 door set up. We've got a nice big window on that hip side door. That moves a lot of air as well. And then we've got this nice big strap that goes all the way across. So if you open that door, you don't have a horse that just thinks they can shoot out right back at you. So I mentioned we, the roof on this one is incredibly strong. So it's actually got a honeycomb core on it. It's about a half inch thick. It's got a nice gel coat finish on top. So it's gonna be really UV resistant. Um, but one of the things we love about it is we get a lot of hail here in Colorado and our Cimarrons usually go by unscathed. Unless it hits at an angle and it hits the side sheets, which is susceptible on every trailer, these Cimarrons, you can up, jump up and down on this roof. You can walk all along this roof without having to look for roof bows. It's incredibly strong. If you guys have ever um, ridden in an aluminum, or not ridden in, uh, walked into an aluminum sheeted roof trailer uh, on a hot day, you will scorch yourself if you put your hand on it. Uh, I can walk in on a Cimarron on a 100 plus degree day. I can leave my hand up there. So it just makes it so much more comfortable for your horses in there. A lot of a lot of people that show just cannot believe if they've gone from another brand to a Cimarron, the differences in how cool these trailers stay. You've got a nice heavy duty piece of plastic here. So anytime uh, Cimarron can avoid metal to metal contact, they're going to do it because it's going to be quieter for your horses and it is going to last a lot longer. So this paddle latch here is a nice heavy duty piece of plastic and then we've got this aluminum end here and it makes it really easy to open and close with one hand you don't have to fight a horse and a divider at the same time it's spring loaded so it holds back nice and flat against the wall and we're at even a little bit of an angle here so you can just tell that that spring does a good job of holding it back we padded this divider um, just so that if you've got light colored horses that aluminum is not going to rub on them um, or a lot of people just, just like having their horses to have a little bit of padding there. And then as far as stall sizes go, this is a standard size trailer. So you're seven one tall, six nine wide. We've got a 39 inch wide stall on the first stall and a 46 on the last stall. That's a pretty good dimensions for a little two horse trailer. Makes it really comfortable. You can fit a lot of different size horses in this trailer. We've got two way roof fence over each stall. And then we've got feed bag rings on each stall as well. So it gives you some flexibility. We equip each one with two tie rings. So if you want to tie hay bags, that's, that's completely up to you. Or we have the option that you can add feed bags in there. The stall area is lined and insulated. So your horses are also going to stay nice and cool. So as we work our way around on this side, we've got the big drop windows on this side as well, but this side has jail bars. So we do not want horses jumping out of these big drop down windows as you're traveling down the road. So those jail bars will keep them nice and safe. I really love Cimarron's jail bars because they're one solid piece. Um, it's just mechanically operated so you don't have to collapse a pin or pull a string that could eventually break. So they just pop against the side of the trailer. You can run with these down. They're nice and heavy duty. Um, the wind won't pick these up. A lot of people, when I'm having them test out Cimarron's, I always tell them, try and bend this window here and you won't have to worry about your horse bending it or getting a lead rope caught under it and ripping it off. So it, they're really built to last. There's over six inches of framing behind here that increases the strength quite a bit. And people love these drop down windows. Lots and lots of airflow. You'll notice another 16 inch awning light on this side. There's tie rings on this side as well, in case you need to tie horses on either side of the trailer just gives you some flexibility. Cimarron went high tech this year and they started doing a QR code for their user's manual so we no longer have to worry about people losing that or you know getting fly spray spilled on it and not being able to read anything. Just gives you a nice little option there. 
And then last but not least, this pink tag here signifies that this trailer has been run through our shop. So unlike most dealerships, we actually run every single trailer through our shop. We pay our technicians to go through this trailer, make sure that every latch, every, every drop down, everything is completely right so that this, when this trailer goes to the customer, it is ready to roll. If you guys have any questions on this one or any of the other ones we have on our lot, you can always go to transwest.com, search the stock number. It's 5N231-396. It's a 2024 Cimarron North Star 2 horse bumper pull. I really appreciate everybody taking the time to run through this trailer with me today. If you guys have any questions on this one or any others that we have sitting here, please feel free to give me a call. My phone number is 970-309-6368. Um, you can call or text at that number. Thank you so much for taking the time. I hope everybody has a great Friday.